In this video, we are going to take up a question on rationalization of denominator. Many a time, it so happens that you may come across problems wherein you are given something like this, maybe. Wherein, in the denominator, in the denominator, if you see, you have basically a square root or something maybe even more complicated. And you are told to rationalize this denominator. Now, in some of the earlier videos, we had seen certain identities, wherein what we saw was that one of the identities said that x plus under root y, when multiplied by x minus under root y, gives x square minus y. Now, in this particular case, what do I have here? What I have here is something which is in the nature of x and y. So if I were to equate this denominator with something like x plus y, what do I get here? Let's see. We get, sorry. So we have x plus under root y is equal to something like 3 plus under root 5, which shows that the value of x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 5. Now, we know that in order to remove this under root thing from here, which is not available in the final solution here, we need to multiply this by x minus under root y. But if we multiply the denominator only by this number, then that will change the equation. So what do we do here? Solution. We know that 1 divided by 3 plus under root 5 into 1 doesn't change the equation. Or we can also replace this by writing this as, this is the original equation, 1 can be replaced by x minus under root y into x minus under root y divided by x minus under root y because this is also equal to 1. Now from our inferences, we found out that x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 5. So if I were to multiply this here, what I will get is 1 divided by 3 plus under root 5 into 3 minus under root 5 divided by 3 plus under root 5. Sorry, not plus, this is minus. Right? Now, if we look at these two multiples, this is something similar to this. x plus under root y into x minus under root y. We know by the identity theory that we saw earlier that this multiple is equal to x square minus y. So, we can write 1 into 3 minus under root 5 will give me 3 minus under root 5 divided by x square minus y. Now, what is the value of x here? x is 3. So, 3 square square minus y. Now what is the value of y? y is 5. Or 3 minus under root 5 divided by 9 minus 5. This gives me 3 minus under root 5 divided by 4. Right? So that's why I have kind of simplified this and now I have 4 which is a rational number in the denominator. So basically I have rationalized the denominator from an under root number to a rational number. This is called rationalization of the denominator and we will be seeing more problems on this in subsequent videos.